Hi again. This time is a little different video because uh, I'm not uh, fixing the bike or making a bike uh, trip video. But uh, today I'm uh, heading uh, to Tallinn, our uh, Estonian uh, main capital. And uh, I'm uh, bringing myself, uh, <laughs> how can I say, uh, my youth uh, dream car. <laughs> Uh, I had uh, three these models before, but uh, I had to sell the last one in 2011 when uh, my child was born and uh, we needed some uh, bigger car, a family car. But uh, right now I'm uh, heading to Tallinn and uh, I'm uh, showing a little uh, clips uh, how the trip goes there and uh, let's uh, see and uh, I hope the uh, car is uh, as good as on the pictures because uh, no, the price is uh, not uh, very cheap but it's the cheapest.
the second day. Uh, we made it home last night. We made it 12 o'clock at night. It was uh, quite a long trip. trip. Uh, it was 425 kilometers. And uh, uh, this is my baby. Uh, I brought it from our uh, capital city. Uh, it is a 1997 uh, Opel Calibra uh, 2.5, uh, 125 kilowatts, and uh, it's a 1997 model uh, with uh, KK Rosberg uh, package. Uh, it's uh, quite different, uh, like the usual Calibras. It uh, has uh, Irmser uh, factory uh, suspension. It's uh, lowered by 30 millimeters. Uh, it has a uh, uh, sport uh, interior with uh, yellow stripes and uh, what can I else what else can I say mm, it has uh, BBS wheels what were uh, for uh, Keka Rosberg edition for the white ones uh, the white ones uh, were with the white wheels and the green ones were with the silver wheels uh, what else? These are the batches that uh, show the difference, but uh, these are quite worn out. I don't know what this is. A uh, some kind of sticker is on it. <laughs> ah, okay. No, let's see. What is it? Uh, there are uh, problems. Uh, what I have to face? The body needs some work because uh, the few years ago this uh, car had an accident the accident was that the car uh, drove in to a uh, Nissan Navara and the front end uh, was uh, squished no, squished down and uh, the hood uh, or the bonnet i don't know how the everyone would say, say it uh, was uh, smashed uh, the front uh, the frame was uh, also mashed and uh, the one uh, who fixed it didn't uh, do a quite a good job because he put uh, uh, old, uh, older uh, Calibra bonnet because uh, the older ones uh, had uh, 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 the badge on the hood and uh, this one, uh, the facelift one has the badge here and uh, right now the filling is uh, showing it, uh, it's not very good. Uh, when I bought the car, uh, I got the uh, uh, facelift uh, hood, uh, what was on a 1995 uh, car, but uh, without the uh, Opel badge. And uh, I looked over, the front frame is uh, 70 euros. I don't know uh, why he put the uh, used one because uh, it's not so expensive to fix it and uh, let's also let's uh, open the bonnet I will show you like you see the old one is messed up it's rusty it's, the quality is I don't know who painted it this is red this is green <laughs> uh, I don't know what kind of people do this kind of paint job the engine bay, like I said, the front frame, the frame should be also green one, but uh, like you see, it's a uh, black one and it's rusty, it's, I don't know, someone bashed it with a hammer or something, because no, it's, it's not beautiful. And uh, the engine bay is quite normal, it's a uh, uh, GM uh, Opel uh, Ecotec engine. This uh, engine uh, produces uh, 170 horsepower and uh, it's uh, quite nice. Uh, it has a transmission with uh, long gears. It uh, needs some uh, revs to uh, get the uh, full power. And uh, on the engine bay it needs uh, some work also. It needs uh, some bits to fan the ventilator cooling uh, pipe the middle part is uh, in the trunk the, it needs a cleaning up uh, the battery should be new no, like the previous owner uh, said but uh, let's hope <laughs> uh, 
and uh, yeah, in the engine bay I need to remove the bumper, to change the front frame, put a new hood on and uh, paint it all. And also I need to paint the front uh, wing because it's scratched up and it's not beautiful. And uh, there, there is uh, something, something to do on the car. The front bumper is also that the feeling is coming out. It's not beautiful. When the, this car came to Estonia in uh, 2009 or something, it was a uh, mint uh, condition. It was uh, taken care of. Uh, the first owner uh, had uh, the, the rust protection on the car and everything, but Estonian uh, roads do this to, the, to a car. So uh, I will uh, close the car. Uh, I will say it uh, in different ways, bonnet and hood, because uh, <laughs> many people in England and the USA say it different. Closed, but uh, let's uh, go to interior. And, uh, the interior is quite basic. Uh, it has the same interior what the uh, uh, Vectra A you know, in Opel Vectra or the Vauxhall Cavalier in uh, England, uh, but uh, it has, uh, like I said, the Kicker Rosberg edition uh, emblem. What uh, says what car is it? This car is uh, number 852 of uh, 1000, and uh, it has uh, uh, these. Uh, Extra gauges uh, are not in every calibre. They are in uh, the the ones with the most uh, accessories. Uh, the one shows uh, voltage, and this one shows the oil pressure. Uh, it has uh, aftermarket uh, uh, stereo, but uh, I'm uh, planning to change it. And uh, these are the usual: rear heating, uh, interior air and the air conditioning, but the air conditioning uh, doesn't work. The previous owner said that uh, uh, he, he filled it uh, last year, but uh, I haven't checked the bills yet and uh, I haven't seen it. But uh, on the Calibra it's uh, usual that uh, like a car so old, it's 23 years old, it uh, has, has some uh, problems. But uh, that, uh, I will close the door because right now it's uh, so windy outside it's <laughs> uh, I think it's uh, starting to rain uh, this like I said on this car it has a uh, Keke Rosberg edition uh, seats what had uh, yellow stripes on it it has a uh, yellow stripes on the gear lever and also the handbrake uh, this one has a uh, Momo uh, aftermarket uh, steering wheel, but uh, it's uh, quite beautiful uh, compared to the original. But uh, the original I had, uh, we have uh, on the trunk, but it's not in very good condition. Uh, what else? Whew, uh, this uh, car has uh, extra uh, Opel uh, security with the uh, original uh, factory security with uh, sensors and uh, it has a trip computer uh, I need to get the new uh, trip computer uh, sticker because it's not put on uh, here right no, pretty good if uh, someone else uh, knows uh, where I can get the sticker uh, write it on the comments because I need it I need to change it uh, usually other things are uh, are the same uh, for the Keke Rosberg edition. I will uh, go on the back and show what what else is different. I wanted to show you what is special also for this edition. It has no, the badge on the trunk also. It has a rear spoiler. What is uh, for this uh, edition? This one has uh, the rear. Uh, brake light is missing but uh, I talked to the owner and the previous owner and he said that uh, he took it off to fix it or something uh, but uh, he has it uh, on his work, work uh, site and uh, 
I will get it later. This one is, like I said, a V6 engine. It has Calibra V6 uh, patch here. Someone put the uh, ear bars also here, but <laughs> I don't know if I take it or leave it. Uh, I also wanted to talk about the Kika Rosberg edition. The Kika Rosberg uh, was a former F1 uh, Formula driver, Finnish driver. And, uh, afterwards, uh, he went to the Opel uh, Touring Car Series and uh, drove uh, for Opel. And uh, I think he won some <laughs> victories because uh, Opel decided to call the Calibra uh, Keiko Rosberg edition for his name. There is also a Cliff edition. The, this one was also a touring driver, but uh, the Cliff one is uh, usually a black one with uh, different uh, logos. But uh, this one it, uh, has a quite large trunk. <laughs> it, uh, uh, the cap capacity for the trunk is uh, 300 liters and uh, I have a few, few parts here like I said the former no, original steering wheel and uh, many other things but it's a little messy here uh, right now the, on the wing it's also Irmser uh, wing for Calibra D that, that is also uh, very valuable. This is closed. The Calibra has uh, some uh, rush problems, but uh, this one is uh, made in Finland. The, it was released in 1997, March, and uh, a few months uh, earlier than the Calibra was uh, pulled from the factory. And uh, this one has uh, the usual problems on the side skirts. Uh, it has rust problems, a few bits on the door also. But uh, these problems, I will change it for the uh, Kekka Rosberg edition. The uh, door door openers <laughs> uh, were uh, for the body color and uh, the uh, racks on the roof it's also the body color because the usual Calibra has a black one and black one and uh, what else this is a uh, I think uh, that's it you saw the tour this baby will stay for me and uh, I'm uh, fixing it and uh, keeping it for my pension <laughs> And uh, I if you want to see more of this content about this car or the how will I will fix it, uh, what jobs I will do with it, then uh, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, write on the comments uh, if you have uh, any suge suggestions. And uh, uh, this time uh, I'm uh, going uh, back home because uh, right now we are in a beautiful lakeside. I wanted to show you. Uh, Beautiful scenery on the, for the Calibra, but uh, now I'm uh, heading home and uh, you start uh, writing comments. Uh, what do you think? Thank you and uh, uh, hit like, subscribe, and see you soon.